We're joined by Shay Gordon for this afternoon interview. Shay, how are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. I'm uh, quite still a bit tired and stuff from Saturday, but looking forward to tomorrow night again and ready to go again. So yeah, it's been it's been a tough week, but looking to get, looking forward to getting going tomorrow. We'll start by quickly looking back to about a month or so ago when we got training restarted after the suspension of the, the league. Um, how good has it been overall just to be back? Oh, it's been great. It's like I think everyone's had this talk about how much with little time frame before games. But I think for us, you want to play games and where everyone's just buzzing to be back and there's still this there's a buzz about the place and the spirits are high. So everyone's excited to keep this run of games going and like maybe you're you feel a bit physically tired, but mentally you're just you're buzzing to be there. So it's it's been it's really really good to be back. So there's been plenty of uh, things to look forward to in games coming up. So we're just looking forward to playing more games. Our first competitive game is that draw with Cove Rangers. Now about a week removed from it, how do we reflect on that result? It's it's a frustrating one because we had chances in the game. I know they had a good chance maybe after their goal, but I think. Throughout the game, I think we probably thought we could have done better. We could have maybe took three points and if maybe a sloppy goal to give away. It was a bit of a couple of errors that happened before the goal. So it's one that we could have cut out and could have stopped. But I think we need sometimes when it's at one nil, you, you need to put the game to bed and we, we didn't do that. So we you always give them a chance to come back in the game. So for us it's about when you're on top of one nil, you need to take your chances. So you can never you can't keep clean sheets all the time. So for us it's you're going to concede goals, but we need to score more than one in a game to, to make sure we're going to win games. And after a disappointing result, uh, I suppose the good thing about the hectic schedule is we were pretty much immediately able to sort of go and get back to win ways with that performance against Cowdenbush in the Cup. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think in football, when you draw a game, you want to play straight away. Or if you draw or lose, you want to play straight, straight away again. So for us, having another game on Tuesday was brilliant that we could go out and and enjoy playing and try and get, try and get a few goals and try and win games and it only helps momentum going forward if you're playing more games and you're winning. So for us to get the draw to the system to win on Tuesday, it, it set us up nicely for Saturday. So hopefully Saturday's all sets us up again for, for tomorrow night. Yeah, and it seems like we did, as you say, play with quite a lot of freedom and attacking intent in that game against Cowden Beef. And it does just sort of build confidence for the team. Yeah, well, that's it. I think we, we started really well. I think when you start games really well and on the front foot, it it almost, and you have a few chances in the game, it gives you that we we left that everyone needs so I think I think we started well against Cowden Beath and we got a bit of possession and we had a few chances so everyone's kind of looking forward to the rest of the game and was pushing and everyone's excited and you play a bit more freedom the shackles are off so I think when you score early as well it helps that kind of factor as well so now we're just looking forward to keep keeping that going hopefully playing like that every, every game and you're playing as part of a midfield two at the moment with Stuart Bannigan and you still popped up with that opening goal against Cowden Beath how are you enjoying that role with uh, the responsibility going forward and back? Yeah, I think I think for me, it's I enjoy that. I enjoy being able to do both sides of it. I feel like I can get up and down the pitch, so it, it helps me, and, and I can I can do both sides of it. I know I'm, I've always I like getting for like getting in the box and, and creating chances and, and getting goals as well. But for me, I, I feel like I can do more defensively, so I'm I'm, I'm trying to add that more and more in. I feel like I, I can do it, but I probably haven't shown as much as I'd like to, but. I think playing in the midfield too, there's more there's more responsibility on the two of me and me, it's been me and Banzo. But I think we have to be we've got more responsibility, we have to be more disciplined of when we run forward. I think sometimes when Banzo runs forward, I have to have to cover him and he knows when to cover me when I go. So it's just about getting a bit of a relationship in there and, and being disciplined in that position. But it won't stop me getting forward the odd time or two as well. <laughs> and um you touched on it there after beating Kevin Beef in midweek, we went and 1-4-2 uh, against their Dreonians. How big a result was, was that for us? Oh, it, it was massive because I think the way we started the game wasn't... It's what we expected as well. That's, that's probably the hardest part. We did expect them to start the start like that, but we just weren't ready for it. We should have been, but we weren't. And I don't really know why, but we were able to recover. And it's it's a massive win because it shows, it shows where, where we're starting to go in terms of the league and, and how we want to try and finish the season strong. So... I think we reacted. It was tough for the first 20, 30 minutes, but I think we reacted well throughout the game. And the second half, we felt that we, we felt really fit. We felt strong. And when the chances came in the second half, we, we took them. And I think we looked quite comfortable after that. I think we could have scored a couple more goals as well, me included. And But I think for us, it was we knew that was going to be a big game. And it's a big three points. And, and sometimes that three points feels bigger than it actually. And then three points as well in terms of 
or the league, how the league looks differently. Yeah, you mentioned we fell behind early and then there was a period where nobody was really on top and then there was a big moment in the game where Kieran Wright makes a, a sensational save to stop it going to 2-0 uh, and then we can't attack and get the equaliser. You had a pretty good view of the save, first of all. <laughs> how good was it and also how important was it in the context of the match? Well, I think for me, it was such a split second. I was kind of behind Kieran waiting, yeah. kind of hoping it didn't hit me in the face, I suppose, but I was ready to take it if it did. But for Ke- it's just an unbelievable see of a split second that it did. And that's the kind of moments that can change games, it can change seasons, it can it can kickstart something and it kickstarted quite quick that we were able to counter and score. So I think if you're going 2-0 down, it looks so much different to 1-8. So it's, it, it obviously gives us a little bit more energy to go on and, and kick on, but it also drains energy out of them after or missing a big chance and us really counter punching and hitting hitting a big scoring a big chance as well. So it was a massive turn in the game and to see it from Gearns, it's unbelievable to be fair. Though. And it was Scott Tiffany who went up the other end and scored that equaliser. He was also the man who, who set up your goal in midweek. Um what has he brought to the team since he arrived? He's, he's just so he's so quick. He, he's he's electric when he gets the ball. He, he's he's hard to stop. He goes past people. So when you've got pace like that and you're willing to, to show people you've got pace like that, it can be it can be frightening sometimes. And I think when we know now when he gets one v one with someone, he's gonna really he's, he's more likely gonna go past them or he's gonna give them a tough time. So as a midfielder, he's brilliant because he, he runs past people and he's looking for cutbacks. He's looking for things in the box as well. And obviously we know he's, he can score goals now as well. So he's. He's been brilliant since he came in and he's added something that maybe we didn't have, but he's he's been, yeah, he's really been really good. So hopefully he can keep it going for the next couple of weeks. And after drawing level, we had a few decent chances before the half-time break to go ahead, but we didn't quite take them. We went in at 1-1. How are we feeling going into the interval? I think at half-time, we were actually, after having been very poor for the first 30 minutes, I think the last 15, we were we were actually quite good. And I had maybe two chances that I feel like I probably could have done better with, but... I think for us we were a bit disappointed. We hadn't we weren't in front at half time, which maybe sound crazy having been so poor for the first 30 minutes. But I think in half time it was kind of saying, look, if we're more ruthless here, we can we can win this game and we can really score a few more goals. So it was kind of reassuring, but we also knew that we had to be on top of a game coming out in the second half. And we had to start the second half really good because of how they started the first half. So I think we showed that we started the second half really good. And then after that, the game kind of took care of itself. So once we got on front, we, we were going to stay in front. So that was, it was a really good big 10 minutes after half time that, that made the difference. Yeah, and that 10 minutes after half time, we got two goals and there's one other just after the hour mark as well. Brian Graham, um, Conor Murray and Scott Tiffany all scoring. Um, how big a period was that for, as you mentioned it there? It was very important to just set on us down, really. Yeah, it was massive because normally we haven't been taking the chances when we when we're on when we have been on top we haven't been taking the chances and you've seen the ch- we've had chances all season we've not really been taking them so I think when when we're on top and we take chances it just shows how the game can look a lot different when, when you actually do take the chances so the boys finished brilliantly and the three goal the three goals after half time were great so it, it settled everyone else down and it just meant that it took the, it kind of took the pressure off but it meant that we were in, we were in control of the game then and it was we were we could have pushed on and probably took a few more goals off them, but I think it just meant that we had we could remain composed and, and put our foot in the ball and, and do what we wanted to do from the start of the game. But when you're taking chances in games like that, it's it's gonna kill any team. So we were happy we took them this week. Yeah, we, we were very clinical in that period and having scored or having not scored three in a game before the Cowden Beef game, we've now done it two uh, times in a row. Do you feel like there's a bit more confidence in the attack at the moment? A little, something a little bit different? Yeah, I think I think it happens when you just, when when you have a game where you score a couple of goals, you can tell there's confidence between people between boys and the relationships seem to be coming a bit coming a bit easier with with players playing with each other a bit more. But I think when you're not scoring chances, you you start to doubt yourself and players doubt themselves, and every chance becomes a tougher chance than it should be. But when you're scoring them, maybe they seem a wee bit easier. So I think for us, when you score three on Tuesday night, then when you score your first one on Saturday, you think we can get a couple more here. And when we start to take more and more chances, you start to think we can score more and more goals. So for us, it's about the confidence is massive in football. And if you score, if you're, if you're knocking them in, then you're, you're just, you're looking for the next one and the next one maybe comes a bit easier than it did before. So yeah, confidence is big, but when you scored now three and Tuesday and then four on Saturday, we're, we're looking to keep adding goals and keep going scoring when we're on top of games. So that's the big one. And what that cushion allowed us to do on Saturday, the manager was able to rest a couple of players in the latter stages. He also did that in midweek with a couple of different players. 
you're actually one of the only players who hasn't had a rest yet. You've played every minute since you came back, as well as Mohamed Niang and Kieran Wright. Um, but in general, how, how key is that squad rotation when we do have such a built-up uh, pack schedule? Well, that's that, it, because the fixtures are, are going to be a bit crazy over the next few weeks. It's going to be needed. Everyone, I think everyone in the squad is going to be needed. Everyone knows that. So I think everyone's done a good job of being, of being ready when they've been asked to play. So there's going to be periods when players aren't going to play on the Tuesday and they're going to they have to be ready for Saturday. So for us, it's having the squad we have now, it does help because at the start of the season, it probably wouldn't have been it wouldn't be ideal this situation, but now that we've got a few more bodies and you can see all the injury, injury players coming back, it's, it's made a big difference that we've got a, a bigger squad to pick from. And and the quality in, in, in each position is making a difference now that we've got people pushing each other to play every week as well. So when you've got good, when the standards aren't really dropping between players, you know, you know that's when your squad's quite strong. So we're going to have to do, it's going to be rotate, there's going to be rotation throughout the rest of the season and it'll come down to who's the best squad, I suppose. So, I think we've we've got a good squad going at the minute. Thanks very much for your time, Shane, and good luck for the game. Cheers, Chris.